So we're looking at some basic model building and I'm using B-17s for my examples. We've gotten a lot of different size B-17s in and I thought it would be interesting to look at the difference in scales. So this is a 172 scale B-17. It's a good size kit for its scale. Small pilot figure about yay big. And the next step up is HK models. I did the 148 scale B-17. And you can see it's a lot bigger, a lot more detail. Really cool model. But the best of all is this guy that we're working on and we're going to take a look at today. This is a 132 scale B-17. Pretty big pilot figure goes in this guy. And as you can see, I've painted the interior and built most of the interior. And what I haven't done yet is the nose section and the tail section. And I thought what we'd do is take a look at the components that I've prepped and I'm getting ready to paint to build the tail gunner section and the waist gunner sections. So let's take a look. So I've finished doing the detailing in the cockpit area of the B-17. I've done the engineer's section here where the upper turret gunner is, the bomb bay. You can see all the detail in the bomb bay, the radio compartment, the radios. The ball turret will go in here. I'll do that later. It goes right here. Um, but what I haven't done yet in this section is the waist gunners, their, their 50 caliber machine gun, and the ammunition boxes that go on the wall. And I haven't done the tail gunner section. As you can see, if I grab the tail piece here, there's a big section of the tail that adds on. And the waist, or I should say the tail gunner sits inside of there. And there's a, a floor and the machine guns and so forth. So we're going to look at those parts, look how I prep them and put them into the fuselage. Then we'll be able to seal the fuselage up and move on to painting. These are all the parts that are going to go into the tail gunner area and the waist gunner sections. As you can see, what I do is I take my parts off the sprues that they come on and I trim them up and clean off any sprue or any you know, mold marks. And then I mount them to a craft stick with double stick tape. This is just double stick crepe tape. Wrap it around the stick, mount your part, and then find a spot where you know, you're not going to see any um, lack of paint. That's what I do. And you can go back and touch up. But you mount all the parts on craft sticks, mount them into a piece of foam. And then what I do is I take my Tamiya spray primer and I shoot each part with a coat of primer. Then I can look at them and make sure they're all clean properly. Then we're going to take them over to the paint booth and shoot some color on them. So we've painted the parts that go into the rear fuselage of the B-17. And you can see I've painted some silver, some brown, airbrushed them. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do some detail painting on these parts before they go into the airplane. In other words, I'm going to do some washes and paint some of the things like the seat cushions and whatnot. And what I'll use is on most of these parts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wash on them and maybe dry brush them a bit. And to do a wash, that's when you thin your paint down really thin, almost watery. It's like three parts thinner to one part paint. And then wash it over the parts so that it goes into all the nooks and crannies and crevices to accentuate the detail. You could use an acrylic wash like Vallejo, which is this product here. You can use my favorite, which is Tamiya's Paneline Accentuators. I've got brown and black here. And you can also use tube oils. 
Uh, Uptylung 502 makes a whole series of oil paints and tubes, and you would thin these down with an enamel thinner or mineral spirits and wash it on. What you need to think about is the type of paint that's underneath of it. In other words, if I've painted my model with an acrylic paint, then it won't interact with enamels and so forth over top of it because they have a different base and vice versa. If you painted an enamel, you might want to paint or wash with an acrylic so that the medium doesn't eat into the paint underneath. So that being said, let's wash some parts and paint some detail and get these parts ready to go into the B-17. So we've airbrushed the parts, we applied a wash with Tamiya panel liner, which accentuates all the deep areas of the part. So now I wanna go ahead and do a dry brush, and I'll show you what that is, on each part to highlight the details. So let's check out dry brushing these parts. <laughs> 